welcome to the last episode of Zelda before we go golfing. Uncle Phil and I aren't going to be friends anymore because I found out he holds the N64 controller like a weeb. You yeah, know, no. no. <laughs> my, my hand always went all the way to the left, no matter what. This is how you normally hold it. Wrong. You gotta hold it all the way to the left and extend your thumb over to the joystick at all times. <laughs> I never once grabbed the middle. Wait, like th what, like this? Yeah, that's how I played every game. <laughs> Let's, uh... Wow, Dark Souls literally stole from Zelda. Aren't there blobs in Demon Souls? Uh, Miyazaki, you piece of shit. I think so. I think you're pretty much right. I don't know. I remember. So we're trying to sober do the fire temple now because we weren't sober. And it's pretty much giving us the same results. <laughs> Even better. <sighs> Boy, you know, this game could use a jump button. You know, the developers did a really good job with this game, but the only thing that they didn't do was... Touch themselves? They freaking made the retargeting and the camera angle absolutely terrible. You know someone's gonna dislike the video now and say wee 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 Look at like look at this. What kind of camera angle is that? It's donkey diarrhea. I'm trying to freaking do the fucking Doom 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 doom. Everyone in the comments, tell Uncle Phil to play Helldivers too. <clears throat> There's 82 people watching now, and they all are giving you the middle finger. Wow, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> For the camera angle comment. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry. I have a life and don't play this 24-7, and I'm not used to shitty camera angles. Okay. He's and used. To, he's used it. to Sekiro. I'm used to greatness. Sekiro. A lot of people have that as the best from soft game ever. Either that or Bloodborne. <sighs> Only a few people say Elden Ring. Bloodborne might be the greatest, honestly. Why? What what separates Bloodborne from all the others? Uh. Because to me, it just looks like the Honestly, same. Honestly, really nothing, except I think this thing is cooler. The art direction? Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. I hate when people say the gameplay, and I'm like, no, it looks like every other Dark Souls game. Yeah, it does. I think the weapons are uh, Yeah, I think the gun cool. looks cool. No, the gun, but the gun doesn't really... I mean, the gun is good for parrying. But other than that, the gun isn't that powerful. Oh, Maybe that's why my playthrough didn't work. Because <laughs> I thought the gun would be a main staple. This is like the uh, the Minotaur Labyrinth. Uh, that's probably what they were going for. Mm. Mm. You know how the Minotaur was born? No, please enlighten me. <laughs> There's like, mom and dad. Uh, there's something about like King Midas or something. <laughs> I had to make sure the our, we were quiet in the last one. Yeah, we were. Uh, King Midas wanted like absolute rule or something, and uh, and continue. <laughs> Poseidon, I think Poseidon gifted him a, uh, a bull to sacrifice in his name for some reason. And uh, he didn't do that. So his wife, King Midas' wife, ended up falling in love with the bull for punishment. 
uh, because Poseidon made his wife do that. And uh, then they had a child, the bull and the, the wife, and they didn't get the Minotaur. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How does that work? And, and then the king designed this labyrinth to, uh, to put the Minotaur in. Oh my god, you're making progress. We did it. Story time helps him. <laughs> I think I've like screwed that story up. But the gist of it is true. Wouldn't it be funny if like the Greek mythology was like the main the religion of Earth instead of Christianity? I think that would be pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hilarious if we were all like fucking our ladies and we were like oh Aphrodite get her pregnant do it yeah. remember to pick up the heart this time on the last boss I should go back and watch yesterday's episode folks Uncle Phil didn't pick up the heart after beating the game yeah cause I'm a professional well you picked up some of the hearts <laughs> I'm picking up every other heart there we go okay <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, if you didn't give me the right ankle, I was going to fucking scream. What do you want? Gora, yeah, okay, yeah, I know, I've been freeing them. Yeah, uh, the Islamic chanting was taken out, so now that immersion is gone. Oh shit, how did you know to do that? Did you not see the big crack? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, as I recall, there's like a... Uh, oh. oh, yeah, there's a gore on this too. <laughs> God, this game is fucking slow. <laughs> I'm glad you're seeing it my way. <laughs> Dude, I, I took Penny to a, a, a rich person suburb man-made beach yesterday. And most rich people are very good looking. <laughs> yeah. Every dad and mom that was there was just gorgeous. Yeah, because they can afford to take care of themselves. It was pretty insane, and I was like, wow. <laughs> They're not eating bologna sandwiches and... Now I'm, gonna, now I'm going to try and make the bologna sandwich six-pack diet and make them all jealous. <laughs> Just eating mud. But it was funny, like, <laughs> at the end of the day before I left, like, there were some pretty, there were some big himbo dudes there with some big muscles, but, like, at the end of the day, before we were leaving, this black guy showed up who looked like, ah, uh, like John Cena, but black. And like every big muscular white guy looked like they were mad. <laughs> he was there, <laughs> like because all the white ladies were looking at him. Yeah, it was pretty much everyone was. Like, this dude looked like he could be a pro athlete, more so than most pro athletes. And oh. I was just like, wow, good for him. But like every muscular guy was like, well, fuck, <laughs> fuck, who had a black guy in our neighborhood? Ugh. Ugh. That's the thing about muscular guys, is they kind of get jealous when muscular guys are more muscular than them. <laughs> and they don't have a personality. Yeah. Do, 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 do! I mean, look, I'm all for going to the gym. Like, to the gym, I love going to the gym and lifting, getting a good sweat in, but don't make that your personality, please, for the love of God. No. It's just, that's how you kill your personality. Same with women. W women think gym, you know. Yeah. They wear your their little Lululemon, you know, fit, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I have a personality. I go to the gym." I'm one of those girls who loves to laugh. Yeah, live, love, play. You must love to travel and love dogs more than people. I have a wine cart in my studio apartment. <laughs> oh my God. But I don't have cable TV. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> 
what is football? <laughs> oh boy. What what is this? Um, I just have to go back here. Yeah, it said to unlock that thing. How do I get up there? Why did Link look around? Oh. Oh my lord. I think those are being lowered. Oh no! Oh no! The fact that this game makes you platform skillfully is mean. There's no fucking jump button. <laughs> and the camera angles suck. <laughs> oh, dude, just wait. The hardest part is coming up. Shigeru Miyamoto <laughs> was like, soil, 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 and then translated. He was like, what if we made it so that they had to jump a lot, but there's no jump button? Oh, <laughs> angles, man. All right, I'm sure it takes it. Oh, it only takes a fourth of your health? Wow. Thank God Dark Souls came around to stop babying us. <laughs> You're not gonna make that. You're. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure, man. Little, sure. Little cheat code. <laughs> sure. No, that made sense. <laughs> you just go from here. You just cheated. Here. Start. Uh, delete the playthrough. This is not. We are not speed running anymore. <laughs> you cheated. <clears throat> oh God. And this is the big room. Yeah. God damn it. Fire devil sucks. You know what we really need to do? We need to uproot our families to Japan. I can't imagine taking my 75-year-old arthritic dad to Japan. <laughs> Why not? Think of all the beautiful women he Cause, takes uh, cause, the Alice cause, to. Because <laughs> uh, the Japanese don't really eat hamburgers and french fries all There's day. plenty of American-themed places that have that. Well, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, one of the IT guys is married to a Japanese woman where I work, where Phil used to work. And uh, he said there's like, there's literally restaurants called like America Land. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where it's like burgers uh, are you and talking pizza. about Steve? Yeah. <laughs> That's a side piece for the Japanese lady. That's kind of cool though. Yeah, his daughter's like stupidly smart. I hate it. She's really? like just a year older than Penny and she speaks two languages. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I'm like, all right, well, I feel bad. My kid, though, my kid's going to, you know, be really good at volleyball someday with her fucking tree trunk-sized legs. <laughs> Can you not just force it through? Oh. Smash every pot. <laughs> oh, God, that coffee. They turn in my stomach. Oh, you're gonna poo. Uncle Phil's gonna poo. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. No! So what happens in this game when you waste all your bombs? You don't get new ones. Does the game design have a way to give you more bombs in a room where you need bombs? <laughs> no? Oh. This game is continually voted best game of all time, and it's fucking bullshit. Fucking stop oh, voting look, for this. Look, it's a compass. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes, I love compasses! Is it really the compass? <laughs> Completely useless. <laughs> oh. Uh, now I need. Uh, where do I go now? I think 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 I don't know. I don't know. Do those do those go away or is that just a wall stopping you at all times? No, it's, they don't go away. God, uh, Christ! This does look worse than the water temple. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my 
retargeting here. Go get down the. What? All right. Yeah. Folks, he's good at this game. No. <laughs> he's good at this game. Did you just have little brother syndrome and you watched your big brother play it? Yeah. Pretty much. That's what my little brother did that's, too. Uh, that's. I think that's ninety percent of the big brother little brother dynamic. Out. Eventually, my little brother overtook the mantle and was way better at games than me. Get out of my My favorite thing used to be when we shared an Xbox Live account and he would play Call of Duty on my account and he was fucking insane. He'd go like 22 and 5 every match. Jeez. And then I would play and then like people would be like, hit my kill death ratio was like above 3, <laughs> which is insane. And they, I, I would have, like, a very average match of, like, six and five, and they would be like, how's your kill-death ratio over three? And I would have to lie and be like, oh, it was just an off match. Just, I swear I'm better. I swear I'm better. But also, we would we would finish prestiging in, like, a month. What the fuck did that door just do? Yeah, it's a fake door. Where do I go? Am I missing a key? You're gonna die. I think I'm missing a key. Would you wait and see if the fire pops up before walking into it? Now go! Oh my god. Look at him, he's tired. He's bending over for Zelda to peg him. Oh my god. Oh my god. We, you were better at this game drunk. Do you realize when you stop on the joystick, it doesn't, it doesn't stop like autumn. Like oh, he's blaming the controller, but folks, we have an N64 Switch controller. Yep, I spent the extra money. Oh my god. Also, Nintendo, shame on you. Most of these games are unplayable without the N64 Switch controller. So the N64 emulator you put on the Switch is borderline useless. <laughs> Stop running into these fires. You are holding the controller good, sir. <laughs> you control the buttons you hit. I think I lost. I think I, uh... Maybe the key is in one of those rooms you're not in yet? Yeah. God, this is what all of you considered fun? You could have been playing, like, Mario 64. Or you like... realize this was revolutionary back in 1999. I mean, I get it, but, like, it's just... You could have been playing something fun. You could have been playing Bomberman 64, Banjo Kazooie. Bomberman 64 was fun. Uh, you could have been playing Mario 64. You could have been playing Mario Party. You could have been playing the best-selling N64 game ever. Which do you know which one that is? It's actually kind of lame. Uh, I don't know. It's Mario Kart 64, oh. which was a good game. But really, the best-selling N64. I would have thought it was this or uh, Mario 64. Did, you did so you never played Goldeneye? You didn't beat Goldeneye, right? Nope. I had it, but we just had it for sleepovers. Oh yeah. For multiplayer, that was and it. And then uh, uh, what was the other one that came after Goldeneye? Uh, Donkey Kong sixty four. No. I had Superman sixty four. I had NFL Blitz. I had WWE No Way Out, No Mercy. I mean, yeah, I had I had one of those too. I uh, I kept it from Blockbuster after they shut down. <laughs> I was like, yep, no late fees for this one. <laughs> oh man, I remember one of my friends in high school told me back when Blockbuster didn't link your account to a credit card; they linked it to your address, <laughs> and they were literally getting ready to move. So he rented like. 15 games <laughs> or something he, he rented a bunch of shit like him oh. and his dad and then like they moved and they just kept all of it <laughs> they had like a bookcase like i have right there and it was just all blockbuster dvds and vhs's and, and video games they were like yeah we never had to give that back did you, were you supposed to do that uh no 
Welcome to the finale of Zelda, Oot. But I figured out where I was missing the, the, the key. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I okay. Where, I know where it is. Beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. Yeah, I should probably put a cheeseburger in my stomach before golf. Mm. Ew. Oh yeah, I was coughing up a storm last night. I heard you too. Yeah, I was. I was like, wow, he's dying down there. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm so pumped for those burgers later. Folks. Oh my God. Folks, we have Kobe beef. Yes, no more. No more life support. Yeah, that's also a great thing. Oh, now I'm tired again. I just gave you coffee. I know, but I need to poop so badly. I gotta do this all over again. Stupid little stags. Uh oh. What was the what was the timing for? I don't know, that was pointless. Why did the game go do 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 I think it's I think it's the wrong time. I th you put hot sauce and coffee in your stomach the night after pizza at <laughs> midnight and booze. <laughs> I was like, how is he eating already? Forget I'm like three years younger than you, so. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. Like, talk about. He just finished college yesterday, folks. <laughs> <laughs> your 30s is your 30s. You're washed. <laughs> You're done. Your prime is over. Accept it. I don't know. I kind of. I. I've... Nope. You're 50. So nope. You're Whatever you think you're gonna say is not true. Nope. <laughs> How about the golden years? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Those are called the Cialis years. <laughs> uh... Here's one. Ron White has one stand-up. It's so fucking old and dated because he's talking about like the invention of Viagra and he's like back in the day you used to have to love somebody if you wanted to fuck them you had to <laughs> love them you couldn't just take a pill and then the crowd laughs and he's like ah, I'm just kidding no you didn't he's like uh, he didn't. you grudge fuck the hell out of someone hate fuck them it didn't matter <laughs> as long as it was a wet hole baby spit on it then I, then I realized, I don't think this was the good thing to throw on with my parents and grandparents visiting the house. Oops. Ron White. Ron Tater Salad White. Are you Ron Tater Salad White? Uh, he's pretty funny. He used to be. His new stuff is awful. Yeah, we're playing Zelda Oot in this economy. Yeah, because we can't afford fancy new video games. 
It's on the Nintendo Switch, <laughs> which is also not a fancy new system. It's seven years old at this point. Oh, wow. Yeah, 2016. That was when I graduated college. 2017, I'm sorry. 2017 with Zelda. Just think, the world was like, here is a Trump presidency, but one year later, we're going to give you the best console ever, and it's going to make it even. <laughs> Boo -doo -doo -doo. Run, run, run. Are you releasing me? Wow, so Zelda had slavery in it. Uh, racist. <laughs> and it's the brown characters. Wow, Japan, do we need to have a talk? Although, what's his name? Tom Segura said he said Japanese people are racist as hell. <laughs> Everyone's racist, dude. What did he say? He said he All was. All Asians are racist. He said he was on on site for like a commercial or something, and one of the production assistants was Filipino, and the Japanese director like looked at Tom and was like, "Hey, that guy." Mm -mm. And he like rubbed one finger on his wrist and shook his head no, and he was like trying to tell him, "I don't like." His skin color. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm like, oh my god. Isn't he a Spaniard? Tom Segura? Segura, yeah. Segura! <laughs> he said one joke. Someone asked him if he was Japanese. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was like, Segura. <laughs> and he's like, well, yeah, you're saying it that way. He's like, you could do that with any name. Smith! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was like... I saw him... Was it with you? No, I saw it with Rachel. That was like the greatest four days of going to the Chicago Theater ever. <clears throat> no, three days at the Chicago Theater, one day at the United Center. It was Daniel Tosh one night. Ugh, I don't like Daniel Tosh. The Game Grumps one night then Ariana Grande at the United Center and then Tom Segura back at the Chicago Theater that was like a Thursday through Sunday one weekend it was fucking rad as hell Daniel Tosh was stupidly funny really? he's way different in person than he is like on TV get away from me but I got so stupidly high that I don't remember most of the <laughs> performance <laughs> Did you laugh a lot? Yeah. Okay. He said, one of the best things I ever did as a comedian was get a, get an email and put it on my Twitter and say, hey, for in inquiries, send me a message. And he said, one of, the, one of the first emails he got was, listen here, a uh, word that rhymes with Daggett. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> oh, let me see what this nice fan has to say. <laughs> like, this is a super inviting email. <laughs> And he said it was a death threat. You're going to die. When I was in my 20s, I thought Tosh.0 oh was funny. Yeah, in your 20s, sure. It was the lowest brow of humor. Like, hey, funny internet video. Here's joke. Here's joke. We're just going to steal talk soup and do it over again. I never thought the man show was funny. I just tuned in at the last five minutes to jerk off to women on trampolines. But I could never finish quick enough. And I was like, is this going to be a problem into my adulthood lasting too long? Do -do 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 -do. Holy shit, are you making progress? Are you almost near the boss? Dee-dee. Dee-dee. Who was the boss for this? The Dodongo? Yes. Two and a half hearts. Hey, why don't you drop a save? Good idea. Yeah, why don't you drop a save <laughs> while we're forgetting? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Give me the controller for a second, too. Give me the controller. Give me, give me. Oh, yeah. Save sought four. Yeah, see, you can cheat even harder. Is the boss soon? Ah! Wow. The 
door was a big floppy penis. Wow. The door was a big floppy penis. Oh. It was a real door. What the fuck is this? What the hell is this thing wearing a skirt looking all sexy? Watches Link communicates in hypersensitive grunts. Nine year old kids? I'm gonna vote this as best game ever the rest of my life! Can we seriously not vote for a new best game ever? It's always just gotta be this one. How many times do you have to hit that fucker? Wait, you didn't get a new item in this temple, did you? Not yet, I, you're, I will. You're all weaponed out. How much of this is left? Maybe or 25. Left. All right, should I? Uh, I think we'll start a new episode. All right, viewers, viewers live on twitch.com. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode and then start it right back up. And if you don't come right back and watch the new episode we're doing, I'm probably gonna cry. <clears throat> You're gonna go poo too? Alright, Phil's gonna take a poo break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll